everyone, my name is Miranda and today I'm here to react to the first episode of Queen Charlotte, which is a original prequel series to the Bridgerton series, which is based on the books by Julia Quinn. So yeah, this is an original story based on the characters that Julia Quinn created. So I'm kind of counting it as a book to movie adaption. I do think she has plans to write a book based on this and the characters, we obviously see older versions of Queen Charlotte in the Bridgerton series, but there's also going to be Lady Danbury as a young girl and when they first meet her and the Queen and become good confidants and friends and I think I think the Bridgerton mom Violet is also supposed to be in this. I could be wrong, but I feel like I also read that there's going to be a younger version of her in that. So a lot of fun things to come. It's always interesting when you know characters at a certain point in their life and then see what they've become or were in this case. And I think it'll be really fun and interesting. The love interest looks so good already just from the little preview we saw. And yeah, I'm excited to check it out. So let's get started. I also forgot Nick from Nancy Drew is in this. I didn't know this till I saw the trailer and I like squealed so much. Who would have thought we got this before the season four of uh, Nancy Drew? <laughs> and that's how it's done. A signature and a handshake and her future is written with no involvement on her part. <laughs> Accurate. Accurate. I already love her. Like fair, completely fair. snaps. <laughs> She's so mad and I literally don't blame her. Also, did they say this is, they're going from Germany to London? Is that even possible? <laughs> Isn't one an island? Like, I know I'm not good at geography, so please someone explain that to me. Again, fair. Hmm, that is a good point. I know there's some kind of secret with George and like I said I didn't actually finish the either season of Bridgerton which is bad but I didn't finish either one of them and I've been trying to figure out what happened to King George. I know it's based on like a true character and there's something with like he had some type of mental illness or something but it's gonna be interesting to see how what their relationship now which seems to be like they kind of care for each other what it turns into where I think they're like living completely separately by the time Bridgerton happens. <laughs> She's like, I'm out. I would love to see that honestly, just her tumble out. Okay, sir. She can do two of those things, but you can't force someone to be happy, especially when she's in a situation completely out of her control that she has not asked or wanted at all. And she's kind of right in that, like, she's walking into, like, this unknown of, like, why? Why did they want her, someone that's so far away? I would think it's, like, because some kind of rumor about, like, other people know, but you think that might have spread to society if there was a rumor. So I feel like it's just interesting that she brought up the fact of, like, yeah, why me? Why did they search all this way? She's 13 kids? Oh my gosh. And that's probably factually accurate. Dang, that's a lot of kids. Also, it's kind of sad that like, I feel like they wouldn't be as sad about that. What do you call it? Daughter-in-law? Granddaughter-in-law? I feel like they wouldn't be as sad about her dying if the baby had not died with her because then at least they'd have an heir and they'd be like, oh, all our problems are fine and like wouldn't even care about her, which is so sad. I would lose it. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I know they have 13 kids, so, like, obviously it does happen, but, like, to think that, like, that's all they care about is, like, whew, I'd be heated. Isn't she technically the family now, though, too? And also, like, she said before, she's, like, the height of fashion, so you really want the future queen of England and Ireland wearing like an outdated gown like I feel like she should make a statement not wear some like traditional gown this lady sucks like she just literally treated her like cattle <laughs> like she just checked her out and was like you'll be you'll make good babies that's all I care about thanks <laughs> can you not walk with her oh my gosh that would drive me infuriating too if someone's just walking behind me at all times like can you just talk to me like I'm a person, thank you. Also, shouldn't he be leading? Like she doesn't know where she's going. <laughs> I'm so confused by this. These rules are so outdated. 
that's so weird. I'm sorry. Like, I get it because it's, like, the time or whatever. But, like, just to think, like, she's person. Like, she's she's just a normal person. Just walk with her, please. They're getting married today? I did not understand that. I thought, like, she was go. What? I'm so confused. Literally, she gets no notice. No wonder she's so mad. Like, they're like, pack up and leave the house. You, The only one you've ever known. Wait, so he picked her or I'm confused. These people picked her for them. I'm guessing the king picked her, but then why are they discussing it? Because it's like, it's the king. Like, the mom saying, like, we, should, we shouldn't even be having this conversation. This lady, like, literally needs to be taken down a notch. Like, you're not the king. Sorry, man. You're not even the queen. You're the queen concert or mother queen. I don't know what they call them. Oh my gosh, they're literally only making it. <laughs> they're only making it now so it's not a whites only wedding. Oh my gosh, that's awful. I thought she meant like, oh, let's just invite like more people like to see her get married or something like that. <laughs> She's the only one that's like, this is suspicious. Like, why is this happening so fast and so suddenly? I feel like the casting too, the younger versions of them look so much like the older versions. It's crazy. Like they did such a good job with it. Wow, her dress is stunning. It's giving me like Belle vibes. I think it's the color. Oh, I'm so excited for them to become friends. This will be so interesting to see how it forms. Especially with, you know, as like the queen, you don't get a lot of like true friends. You get people just trying to backstab you and move their way up in the court. It's crazy to me, I think, just because like it's not... Like, she doesn't truly feel like she should be talking to them or, like, that this should be the queen. Like, it's all about just how it looks, you know? Like, it's all just political to her. It's not actually, like, she's not doing this out of the kindness of her heart or even being, like, yeah, the king's right. We should have, like, people other than people that look just like us at this wedding or, like, in society. She's like, no, this is what the king wants. So, like, let's make it look like we all agree. And it's like, that doesn't make you right or a good person. Like, you're just doing it for appearance-wise sake. Oops. Oh, there he is. I didn't realize he was in the room. That's funny. I kind of like, I get where her brother's like, oh, I couldn't say no or whatever, because obviously he couldn't. But I also feel like he could be a little more on her side, right? Like she's going through all this and he's like, you just got to smile and be happy. And it's just like, but she doesn't. Like she can like admit and talk to you at least that like this all kind of sucks and is happening extremely fast. She's really hiking it out of there. My goodness. Good for her, honestly. <laughs> the fact that, like, he's just without guards, like, is so... Just, this is their first meeting. I love it. <laughs> I love the bantering already, the argument. Like, she, I'm not doing anything, but you are, clearly. And she's like, no, I'm not. Thanks. That's just too funny. I feel, I almost wish, like, I mean, it's impossible, but I almost wish that, like, we didn't know that's him, because then it would be even funnier when we're like, oh, you're literally saying that to him. Like, when the shoe drops for her as well as us, but, like, this is the this is the scene they showed with the to doom or whatever, and obviously you would know who the actor is that's cast for him, but I just think it'd be really funny. He's really handsome. Like, they are a good-looking couple. Cute. So I'm guessing he picked her. And that's why the mom is like so in a tizzy about being like, this is what he wants. So like, we're going to pretend it's what we want to or whatever. Because obviously it's in her best interest for him to stay in power. And that's like the only way she'll have as much control of him and the society as she can. So. Just George. That's so cute. Even though it does make me think of Curious George for some reason. I don't know why. He doesn't have a British accent. He's just a monkey. But I feel like George would say that because he'd be like, oh, it's Curious George. And he'd be like, George, just George, if he could talk. Well, I mean, the girls had like six hours notice. Can you really blame her? Exactly. Yeah, but you picked her, so you know at least <laughs> a little more about her than she knows about you. And she's right. It's weird when, like, you're like... Is he athletic? Does he like reading? And everyone's like, he's the king. You're like, okay, but like, that's like telling me when I'm asking, hey, how's the beach? Is it sandy? Is it sunny? You're like, it's the beach. Like, doesn't really tell me anything. Hey, at least you met her. If she hadn't done this and you hadn't gone after her, you wouldn't even meet her till at the altar, so. 
I just feel like he's too charismatic, right? It's too perfect. Like this guy that you don't happen to know just turns out to be really charming and sweet and likes reading and has good banter. Like it's just, I know there's that secret he's keeping and you can just kind of tell how because it all feels too easy at this point. You know, like with all the other relationships in Bridgerton, we have to work to get there. And there was that initial like, I don't like you. I don't like you. And I feel like this just feels like too simple you know but I feel like it's intentionally supposed to feel like that like it's a good meaning but you're like where do we go from here oh that that's so much better that dress and her hair and everything like it just looked so boring before like it looked traditional simple but this is like a statement he's so cute but he also looks disturbingly close to someone I went to high school with and like I just I can't find him cute for that reason or is it the guy I worked at the toy store with I think it's that actually. Oh, the train, the cape. I love it. I know Edna Mode would be so mad at me, but like, I just love a good cape. It's beautiful. She looks glowing. Like, I'm so happy that she's not like trudging her way down, but I also feel like, again, it just feels too perfect, right? It's like, this is usually how it ends as a happy marriage. So like starting off on it, you're like, my, my suspicions are raised. I'm like, this can't be this easy. It's also weird, it's like it's their first kiss already, but like it doesn't feel like a first kiss because it's not like, we have to kiss, like I can't control myself if I don't kiss you right now, like it's a kiss for, it's a, um, a showman kiss, right? It's like, oh, we have to do this, and like they're happy about it, but it just doesn't feel like, I don't know, it's all, it's all still performative in a way, you know? It's not like, oh, we're in love and I have to kiss you right now. And if I don't, my heart will literally break. It's not like chest heaving, like they're this close to each other. Like they have to kiss. I love it already. I love that they're showing Lady Danbury's like been so smart and on it from the moment. Like she knew as soon as they got this invitation, she's like, wait, why are we doing this? And her husband's like, oh my gosh, we got a title. Like, this is so, we've been owed this. And she's like, no, there's more to this. Like, I'm just so glad she has a friend like that, you know? By herself? Oh, is that where she was in the, the flash forward when that guy, the doctor came to check on her? That's weird. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, So you're there and she's here? So he's like, yes. Like, it all makes sense. Like, why are you questioning it? I'm like, mm, actually. Yeah, wait, if they don't, like, yeah, then, like, there's so many servants that are gonna know he didn't spend the night and are gonna be like, oh, wait, this marriage isn't, like, an actual marriage or whatever. Like, what is he thinking? Yeah, not spending your wedding night together, I feel like, is a stain on your relationship. It's kind of strange. It's almost like if this wasn't, like... <laughs> If I thought this was a supernatural show, I'd literally think, like, he turns into, like, a beast at 12 and, like, he can't stay the night with her. Like, that's what it feels like. So it'll be interesting to see what it really is because it's, like, I guess just how much is he gonna be with her as opposed to, like, like, is it literally just, like, he wants a wife just to have kids and then, like, he's away from her so whenever he has, like, an episode, she doesn't see it because it's, like, just the fact that it's, like, night and he's, like, I gotta go. It feels very, like, Cinderella. Like, my house turned into a pumpkin. I gots to go. Oh my gosh, dude, calm down. Like, slow down. All she's been told to is that, like, she needs to have kids with you, so excuse me if she's a little confused by what's happening. Well, bye. <laughs> That's just so awkward that he thinks, like, she's gonna be fine with this. For who? Yeah. Because it doesn't seem easy to who. For her. Well, you could explain it, yeah. Like, it's a little weird. Okay. That's what it always comes down to, right? King first, husband, son, father second. Oh yes, throw that back in his face. Throw that back in his face. Mm, nope, that's what you got. If you're gonna do that, that's what you get. Oh, she asked if she could leave. I love her. She's like, can I use the spoon to eat my soup or should I wait for your permission? Oh, she's so good. Like, I just love how cold she is by just being, like, so formal. You lost her. Good job, George. Or should I say your majesty as well? Oh, it's so good. Like, do you request me to stay? Like, that's just how it's gonna be, and I love it for her. I love that she's, like, not just, like... Like, I'm I'm sad that, like, that's, like, her... 
but I just love how, like, she's not, like, yelling back at him or something. She's just like, oh, that's how you want it to be? Okay. Oh my gosh, they had 15? Two of them passed away? I thought 13 was a lot. I guess they make up. Or he just visits her 15 times in the whole marriage. It's kind of sad to see the family because it's like, I don't know, I guess it is similar to, like, the the guys at least feel similar to the Bridgertons, but, like, I just, I kind of wish they were a closer family, you know? It's kind of sad that, like, they're not close and, like, just seeing her be a mom and stuff. Like, I know she's queen, but, like, I kind of hope they would be closer. You should have gone over that wall. I'm sorry to say it, sweetie, but you fell for a cute guy that was charismatic. We've all been there, okay? And, like, you married him. <laughs> like, it just felt too perfect, like I said. You're like, there's no way that this is, like, gonna just be, like, great from the get-go. Like, I feel, like, so bad for her. I'm just kind of sad because, like, the family doesn't seem that close. Like, the children don't seem to have, like, all together. And she doesn't seem very close with them. Again, though, that's kind of typical for kings and queens, I feel like, to not be close with their children, sadly. But then also, like, her and the king don't seem to have a relationship. Like, she was like, oh, is he dead? And, like, seemed, like, sad, like he would be dead. But, like, they're not living together or anything like that. It just... It kind of feels like it's going to be a romance with a tragic ending, which is a little bit sad and bittersweet, but we'll see where it goes because as of now, they're not spending any time together and he doesn't seem to have any, um, any plans to do so in the future. So I really like it so far. I think it's gorgeous, of course, but also interesting. And the chemistry between the actors who play George and Charlotte is wonderful. Like they have such great banter and it's so cute and I'm excited to see more of it develop and actually feel like what the real relationship is right not just the like show and like the first kind of like or whatever you know of being like oh he's not disgusting or mean so this is great and everything like that I'm just excited to see it yeah so if you have seen the first episode please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time bye